All right, sir. I have one last thing I want to discuss before we get into class of 84. Um, there's a trailer out for a movie. I've not seen this movie. Uh, and I'm not even really so much wanting to talk about the trailer. It's just the idea of this movie. Uh, this movie called Beast with Idris Elba. Excellent actor, by the way. Um, essentially, what the gist of what I'm getting from the trailer is that for some reason this dude and his family and some other people are attacked by a lion in the wilderness. Hmm. And it's literally like a UFC fight between Idris Elba and a fucking lion. <laughs> um, so, like the gray, but no Liam Neeson and lion instead of wolves, I'm sold. No. <laughs> but, uh... It it makes me it makes me go back and I'm like man we haven't really like I'm not I'm not gonna count fucking uh the Meg or Sharknado or any of that shit I'm not I'm not counting movies like that but like a real theatrical movie where it's a regular animal like not a, not a creature that's made up or make believe just like a real it's just a lion versus man like when was the last like i i was actually kind of surprised that for a lot of the talk that i've seen on this uh i think i've only seen two people bring up the movie roar mm. uh because that's immediately what i thought of i'm like oh is i'm like is this is just like a like a like a a theatrical version of roar <laughs> and, and and just scaled down to one fucking <laughs> as opposed to like the 40 or 50 they had in roar um the uh crawl that's the only other one i can think of from recent oh, memory i don't remember that one uh gator movie oh gators okay yeah yeah um for but some reason like... for some reason i always go to the lake placid movie when i think of gators i mean we all could, I mean, come on, we we all could be so lucky to be able to watch that one again. <laughs> but I just, I, I, I thought that was kind of neat that, that somebody was just like, I don't want to make a superhero movie. I don't want to make uh, a romantic comedy. I don't even know if they make romantic comedies anymore, really. Um, but, Not since uh, Ryan Reynolds started <laughs> doing superhero movies again. <laughs> but I was like, Somebody fucking went back to the well and was just like, man versus beast. It's so primal. Like, it's 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 literally the Prey movie, but just without an alien. <laughs> like, like, a small part of what this entire movie is was like a, like a two-minute scene in Prey. <laughs> when she fell out of the tree. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I, I was like, you know what? I I kind of want to see that. I don't know if this movie is going to be good or not. Uh, I've heard that it's it's not like it's not going to win any awards, but it's like actually like worth watching, which is good to hear. But just the fact that somebody was just like, I'm just going back to basics. I applaud that. At this, I'm at the point now where I don't care if it wins awards because those movies tend to be the ones that we end up talking about the most. And I, for one, love it. The other thing, I think this kind of goes back around to uh, certain genres coming back and they always come back in waves. So congrats Scream for bringing back slashers again because we're, we're, getting, we're getting there. Maybe we're, maybe we're going to be back to doing the Beast movies again and maybe we'll get a theatrical Tremors at some point. Would you want that though? <laughs> like, like, I'm not knocking the idea. I'm for the idea, kind of. But part of the charm of at least the first Tremors is that it's not that. <laughs> but it got a theatrical release where the where the sequel did not, and oh, they haven't true. had theatrical releases since then. That's what I want. I want I want one Tremors movie to bring us back to uh, <laughs> to bring us back to the cinema. And get Kevin Bacon back. That's what I'm. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, because every, I feel like we. I mean, there's 
we're at the point now where we've remade so much shit from the 80s that like now really all that's left is the low hanging fruit that everybody said you shouldn't fuck with anyway like your back to the futures and your jaws and shit like that Mm -hmm. but at what point you know like i mean i know that some say that the fatigue set in years ago with the superhero stuff but let, let, let's let say that, that even the people that love this shit like me, like, all right, it's starting out today, it's welcome. Like, the majority opinion. And everybody's like, well, fuck, what are we, we going to put out now, you know? And then they got to start remaking the shit from the 90s and early 2000s. Like, seriously, like, what would a, what would a 2025 volcano movie look like? <laughs> the Rock would star in it. <laughs> Just that's just how it would be and it would be so grand scale i wonder if i wonder if this if that would be a cause for concern of studios giving them too much budget and maybe too much scope to work with on that because that's going to get really hokey really quick it's like but like the 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 beauty of it is is that since they're because the thing that all of the late 90s early 2000 movies was it's like it's a cool idea. Like like I said, like like oh the volcano erupts in LA. Okay, how does that happen? Doesn't matter. <laughs> like 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 it's just it's like how does oh that's a great idea. Th- this was the era of great ideas but not no feasible way of explaining why or how, it completely ignoring science and reality. The beauty of remaking that is that you have to hold true to that. <laughs> <laughs> We want big budget B movie in the cinema yeah. at that point. <laughs> I, it was the it was the perfect time of single word horror movies, or in the, in Volcano's case, uh, adventure action movies, single word noun movies. So you had volcano, slugs, <laughs> arachnophobia, mosquito. Remember that piece of shit that came out a while <laughs> back? Because it, it, it is. It's bad, but it's fun. You had stuff like that. Anaconda. There's another one. I love Anaconda. I saw that in the theater. <laughs> it's great. We need to go back to that because I think that'll get people back into the movie mindset. That's another Beast movie, by the way. That is another Beast movie. <laughs> Al- well, this was 70s, but Alligator. Alligator 2. Piranha. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Piranha too. I mean, there, there's just, there's so much, there's so much. No pun intended. There's so much meat on those that you could just kind of, you could do the Markiplier. I can milk you, mm-hmm. too. And we would, we would actually, we would probably get some duds. But I think at the same time, no one thought they would get an Idris Elba Beast movie. And I love that he's just game to do shit like that too. Yeah, because like. I haven't seen a side of Idris Elba that I haven't liked. Like, okay, these are the sides. I've seen him in amazing roles. I've seen him in roles that, man, you are really good. I just wish that somebody or the people who made this movie had more respect for you and the movie. But he, but it, he, it, like, I could, okay, I could go on for an entire week about that Dark Tower movie. <laughs> Idris Elba was fucking amazing and it is a damn shame. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> um but you know, and now and, and it's not like he's I wouldn't even say he's in his comfortable phase like Elijah Wood or something where it's just like I I've got my money. I'm just going to do weird shit like whatever I want to do kind of stuff. I don't think he's quite there yet, but I think he's got enough power to where he's like, I could do one of these every four or five years. And I think Beast was something he was just like, yeah, I'll punch a lion. (laughs) Am I going to look cool doing it? Am I going to look cool doing it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sign me up. And he's like, he's like, like, now, is it going to be cool fighting a lion or is it going to be Chris Pratt riding a raptor? <laughs> no disrespect to Mr. Pratt, but I mean, come on. 
<laughs> I mean, uh, and from what I've been told, the Jurassic Park books are already batshit crazy anyway, so... I only I'll... read the first one, like the actual original Jurassic Park. Oh, the one where Hammond's a fucking dick? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and Dennis goes out in a much cooler way. <laughs> and And Muldoon lives. And he has a rocket launcher, and it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah.